Hello everyone, my name is Sean's Xers, and welcome back to my Pokemon Dark Violet version walkthrough on the, uh, made by Chaos Thrust. Yeah. In the last episode, we reached the Saldan City, and now we are told that apparently Team Rocket has taken over some building, the game corner actually. So yeah, now someone is lurking in the background in the Skype call, so they will decide whenever they want to talk or not. Also, I will go over the city later on in the next episode, but right now we need to take care of some things. Remember in the last episode that we were told that um, Team Rocket took over the game corner. Well, he's right there apparently. Let's talk to you. There's nothing under this poster. Go away or else. Alright, so we're going to quickly just take out this Team Rocket grunt, I guess, that apparently is looking at a poster. I don't know why, but whatever. Uh, this should be no problems whatsoever, uh, whatsoever because I'm ridiculously overtrained. Though I haven't actually trained off screen or anything. This is right after, well, not really, it's a couple hours later, but right after um, episode 9. So, yeah. He sends out an Arbok. Nothing too special here. It should be pretty easy. Just have to flame burst it and it should be okay as long as it doesn't survive. It survived. Okay. And it made a stupid play. Okay. Uh, Dragon Breath. And there we go. Please send me some. S oh, there's a Venomoth. Okay. Uh, Venomoth is a poison bug type Pokemon. It's the second evolution of a Venomoth. How do you evolve by just leveling up? No problems whatsoever. So, yeah, this is. I don't know. It just burnt down like a bug. That's. Been great. I don't know. Okay. Dang. Not a problem. The Team Rocket hideout might be discovered. I better let Archer know. Ah, uh, Archer. In ways that we talked to this poster apparently. Hey, I switched behind the poster. Let's push it. And okay, that is something I didn't see. All right. Welcome to the Rocket hideout. Yeah, this is going to take a while. Uh, so this area is ridiculously long, so let's just go and bow every single trainer. Uh, actually, I'm going to skip them as much as possible. But they do go away after you destroy the boss. Yes, there's a boss, apparently. Spoiler. But, uh, yeah. Okay, we may want to bow this trainer first because... Well, something may happen in the end, just saying, so we might as well, right? Who are you? How do you get in? Get here. Eh, I am tired today. Alright, there's another grunt. Yeah, they're full of them. So I'm just gonna be following the storyline here until we beat the boss, and then we're gonna be exploring Celadon City because, well, I haven't looked around yet. It's just there, <laughs> apparently. There's a lot of things to do, well, not really, but still, there is a bit of few things that we can do in Celadon City before we head back to, uh, Ven um, what is that city called? Uh, I don't remember anymore, but, yeah. We're just taking out this trainer pretty quickly. Level 47 for a Charizard, very nice. Here's your stats. And there we go. Flame 4, nice. Alright, so I'm just gonna get rid of, obviously, I could keep Fire Fang, but, huh, I'm gonna get rid of this. I don't know why I kept the smoke screen though, that's really useless. Uh, who knows, who knows. Anyways, we learned Flame 4, very nice, we're at level 47 now, I'm gonna go and switch, yep, switch out to uh, Sense Flash because that's a bro, rock slide, yeah, rock slide. Alright, Mirko, you're gonna go down to the depths of hell. I mean, something else. But yeah, okay, there we go. Very nice. Now, we're only at um, bottom floor number one. There's a few floors. I believe there's four? Five? I don't remember. It's been a while since I played a version of Fire Red and Leaf Green and so forth. So, I don't remember too much of my content. Now, this door is locked. Don't worry about it. It will come in handy later on. So we're just gonna go to floor number two. Hello there. Now I will go back and uh, battle that Team Rocket guy again later. 
somewhere. I don't know. Maybe Lee. I don't know. We're just gonna uh, take out this rocket, though. You're the one who defeated us at Peter Museum at Moon. Uh, sure. How do you know it's me? I'm just like, apparently a 16 year old. Which is what the description said of this game. I don't know. But he has a sand splash at level 34. No problems. We can just easily just go magnitude and see if we get a. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know. I've been seeing magnitude 7 like crazy now. It's been ridiculously stupid. Using Iron Wheel, I don't care because it won't do too much. I will use Iron Wheel myself and show how much more powerful I am even though I'm higher leveled. And there we go. Next Pokemon, please. It is a Venomoth. Why do you guys have Venomoths now? Is it like your replacement for Rattatas, Raticates, etc. or Zubats? I don't know. But this should be no problems whatsoever because Grok Slide should be able to take out Bug Pokemon and it was true. There we go. You're not worthy of my time. You're not worthy of my time. Okay. Uh, we can go down or we can continue on with these panels. I'm gonna go continue on with these panels. Oh, Jesus, it's gonna be hateful. Okay, so we're just gonna do this. Alright, there we go. And we got a metal stone. I don't know what that is, so we're gonna read that now. Because I'm wasting time here. Though this area itself is not too bad. It's just the area itself I hate. Uh, let's see. A partic um, peculiar stone that makes certain species of Pokemon evolve. It's a shiny chrome color? Okay, I gotta look that up later. And if we were to follow this path here and not touching any panels, we get this. The word candy. I don't use these often. I don't know why I don't, but I should. So if we were to go over here. Uh, let's go and hit this. And we got TM36 Sludge Bomb. Very nice. Pretty good. So let's go and uh, we only have one way. All right, and if we were to go up, well, obviously, yeah. Um, I'm thinking there's more stuff. That's what I'm wondering, but still. If we were to go up here, well, we're screwed. So we gotta go down here, and yeah. I don't think there's any more items, is there? Oh, there's an item right there, god. Okay, I'm gonna go get it. Hyper Potion, very nice. Though it was not really worth my time because now I'm stuck here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Ah, uh, okay, so let's just go back. Um, I took this way. And then, <laughs> I took this. And then I took this. And then I took this. And there we go, we're out of here. Hello. You must be dizzy. I'll make you dizzier. No, thank you? But whatever. Alright, another grunt. Not too bad, I must say. Though, I kind of want to catch a Pokemon still, but I can't. Because we have to apparently destroy Team Rocket first. Uh, but yeah. It is annoying, I must say. Alright, next Pokemon is a Hypno. In the evolution of the Drowsy family. No problems whatsoever. We can easily take it out with probably Magnitude, hopefully. No way in heck are we gonna destroy it. Like, that does nothing. Ah, whatever. Uh, it's using Magnitude, no problems whatsoever. Let's just use Magnitude again and gave me four. Meh. And it's using Psybeam. That is not good. That is not good. Okay, come on. Come on. What did you do? Ah, uh, this is like a frenzy of fours for some reason. I don't know. Give me something else but four. You give me a six, okay? Ah. Uh, and of course it. Uh, you know what? I'm done. I'm done with magnitude. Let's just go and use Iron Wheel. There we go. Come on. Come on. There we go. And I just noticed it looked like Water Ball. Eh, interesting. Anyways, that is done. Yes, you're dizzy. Ha ha ha. Alright, so let's go up these staircases because the elevator should... Uh... Hi? I forgot my uniform! It's all your fault! Wow. Um... 
Um, how does a uniform fit in? I don't know. Whatever. He has a Hound Door at level 34, the Dark and Fire type Pokemon. No problems whatsoever. Let's just take it out with some magnitude, please. You did in between, I guess. Well, whatever. It took it out. Very nice. We're getting close to a level up here, so yeah. Uh, next is Zubat. We haven't seen these for a while. It's a poison and flying type Pokemon. Do you stage the evolution? How do you evolve into a Golbat is by leveling up, and how do you evolve into a, a Crobat is by friendship. So yeah. Alright, that is done. And we should be able to get that level up here. And we do. Level 46. Very nice. Here's your stats for the Sand Slash. The defense is actually pretty good. <laughs> oh, 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 yes. Goodbye, Magnitude. I hate you. Ha, ha, ha. Alright. And there we go. Earthquake. Nice. I was waiting for that. Ugh. Magnitude was just stupid luck. Stupid luck. Alright. I'll talk to you again. Want to help me find my uniform? No. Uh, let's check around this area here. One hyper potion, okay. And uh, there's a okay. Let's go. Why do you come here? Um, be, I'm here to destroy your plants. Maybe. I don't know. I uh, I really don't know. But still, so, uh, he he she has a venom off. No problems whatsoever. We can take it out with that rock slide, and it should be okay. Why did I not switch my Pokemon? I don't know. Okay then. I'm just gonna give the EXP to uh, Sand Slash. Uh, here comes a gli gli Grimer. We can test out our Earthquake now. Let's go. And of course, it rumbles like the magnitude, but it's not as strong unless it's 10. And there we go. And done and done. And I gotta switch my Pokemon here. This won't do. Alright, so let's go and switch. Alright, uh, wasn't there supposed to be something here? I feel like there's, I don't know, whatever. So there's nothing here, uh, let's talk to you. Get out of here, brat. We don't like your kind, uh, whatever. So let's just get out of here and head to the next floor. Welcome to bottom third floor something-ish, I don't know. We got word from upstairs that you were coming. Yeah? Got a problem with a kid? Well, teenager coming into your base? I, I don't know. Uh, he has a mod chop at level 32, no problems whatsoever. We can easily take it out with a dragon breath, maybe? I hope, but I'm not sure. Okay, yeah, I did, of course. Alright, next Pokemon, please, because that mod chop was too easy. It's a Zubat. Okay, then. Uh, Zubat is a level 32, no problems whatsoever. Uh, let's just use dragon breath, and it should be good. There we go. Next Pokemon, please. Please. Golbat. Alright, the evolution of the Zubat. Like I said before, I'm just gonna go with a. Uh, I just double tapped A, apparently, but okay. Um, let's just go and get confused. Whatever. And. Please don't hit yourself, please. Let's just use Flame Floor. Come on. And there we go. Alright. And done. Next Pokemon is. Because this trainer has too many. It's a mod choke. Okay, so this Pokemon. This Pokemon. This trainer has evolutions of itself. Interesting. And I'm so confused. And it hurt itself. Okay. Uh, please don't. And that's. Why do you use submission against a flying type Pokemon? I don't know. Okay, let's just go and use Flame Floor again. Come on. Nope. And it should take it out. It should. Yeah, there we go. Nice. And there we go. That is done. Alright, let's continue on here. Uh, there's a Pokeball. Team 21 Frustration. If you don't like your Pokemon, teach it to this. Well, teach this TM to your Pokemon because they hate you. Alright, so let's check to the- no, there's nothing to the left hand side. Uh, same puzzle as always. Now, I'm just gonna look at this quickly. And, 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 
Oops, it almost took the wrong way. That should give us this. Uh, scope lens. That increases your critical hit? I don't remember. Um, we don't have any more places to go, so let's go back and hit this again. So now we're gonna avoid all this. Um, should be the one over here. And there we go. Black glasses raises your dark type moves if the Pokemon's holding it. Very nice. And hello there. What's up, anyway, and Team Rocket's affairs or else? No, thank you, because I don't want to. Alright, next. Grunt. <sighs> Alright, uh, she has a Hound Door. No problems whatever, and whatsoever. We can easily take it out with a Dragon Breath, and it should be okay, maybe. No, it is not okay. You need to step up your game, Charizard. Because you are not doing good. Um, Dragon Breath again, because I don't have any other moves that would hurt it, because I fear that Flash Fire, which is an ability that raises your fire. Yeah, no, it's fire? Fire, I don't know. Uh, I, it just raises something, I don't remember right now. Uh, she has a Raticate at level 34, no problems. We can easily take it out with a Flame for it, and it should be good. Hopefully. There we go. Why is it so slow? I don't know. I could take off the animations, but what fun is that? What fun is it that I remove those? And we have two sections here. Uh, our best interest is to go to the staircase. Welcome to B4. B4 F. Uh, here's a Pokeball. Max Efer. Very nice. And there should be nothing else. Can I talk to the computer? I'm, I'm curious, actually. No? Okay. Whatever. So let's go up here. Ah, Sun Gun. There's two of them. That over doesn't work. You need to left key, idiot. Uh. Yeah, that was kind of given beforehand. Anyways, um. He has a macho. Interesting, but that hasn't changed from any other grunt. Uh, okay, let's just flame throw this and it should be okay. Please. Thank you. Also, I kind of want to teach it fly because it's the only Pokemon in my team that's gonna be a flying type, so. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so let's just flame throw it and it should be okay. There we go. Done and done. Very nice. And we're at level 48 now. Two levels before level 50. Very cool. And we're gonna switch out here. Drat! We're getting lots of money too. And I haven't spent too much either. <laughs> uh, okay, let's just switch. Uh, let's just go over here. We have a Hyper Potion. Um, and I'm gonna talk to this person quickly. What? You think I have the lift key? Fine. I'll give you a hint. There's a room on this floor where we keep Pokemon that uh, we're going to experiment on. There's also a room on this floor where we keep the bat. Uh, never mind. Let's check this. <sighs> of course. Please. I'm scared. Okay, if you see what I'm seeing, right? Right near the Pokeball. Those are bombs. What the freak is this? Okay, uh, we got the lift key. Now let's go to over here. There's, uh, there's an extremely nasty smell coming from here. Can I? Can I can, please, I, I want to just plug your nose. Plug your nose. God, let me be in the. I'm fine. Okay, so there's no other way but to go up. So let's go back to floor two because that's our only way on going to the elevator and so forth. So let's go up. Floor two. And let's do this puzzle again. I don't remember how it goes. That elevator the key and let's go in. Uh, okay. Which floor do you want? B? F, 4? F? Sure, I don't know. Uh, that's it. Okay, so let's go out. And welcome to B4F. It's starting to get awkward. More bombs? 
Okay. Uh, we have a calcium here. Not like I use them. Well, actually, I can use one right now. Let's do that. Uh, calcium, use uh, Charizard. Oh, you can use it. Nice. And we also have a PP up. Nothing in particular I want to use. Okay. So let's go and do this. Well, do this, actually. Was it you who fret? Freed the Pokemon that we were going to use for experiments? E no, they used some kind of move and used this and like pushed the switch and so forth and escaped on their own. Don't worry. I didn't get the lift key from them. Maybe. Uh, let's go and use Rock Slide because that is super effective against flying types. So yeah. And there we go. Please. Next Pokemon. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Grimer. Grimer is a poison type Pokemon, as we should know by now and by looking at it because of the sludge. And it looks really disgusting, but I'll go over it even though I saw it many times. I don't know. Uh, Grimer is a poison type Pokemon, has two stages of evolution, which is being muck. How you evolve by leveling up. It has a ridiculous amount of special defense here and there, maybe. Uh, but yeah, nothing too special about it. So yeah. Alright, Earthquake it, and I did not expect it to take it out, so whatever. And we're just gonna go and use Iron Wheel, and there we go, and I just say and a lot, and, 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 okay. Done and done. Sound a bit annoying. <laughs> Alright, burn! Next trainer on the side here. How can you not see the beauty of our evil? Uh, because it's evil. Obviously. Okay, so what do you have here? You have three Pokemon. The first being a Murkrow. That is not overusing the Murkrows at this point. Obviously. Alright. One, two, three. There we go. Critical hit. You know, that was not supposed to crit. It would have killed. I don't know. Alright, next Pokemon is a coughing at level. Please, come on, something. Level 34 is a poison type Pokemon. We already know what this Pokemon is. So let's just take it out with a rock slide, hopefully. Or not. And there's an. Uh, explosion in this generation cuts. No, it does it? No, I don't remember. One of the generations cuts their uh, defense in half, which makes explosion a lot more deadlier. Next Pokemon is an Arbok, poison type Pokemon, obviously, so we can easily just use Earthquake and it's intimidating me. Come on, Earthquake. And... One, two, three. There we go. And we should level up here. Yep, level 47 for Sand Slash, very nice. Here's our stats. And there we go. Ayaya! Ayaya? Ayaya? And with the door open, once you do that, we're gonna switch our Pokemon here into Charizard because he, she, it, something, uh, has near full health and. And we meet again! As soon as I found out that the SSN never blew up, I knew you had something to do with it. Giovanni had thought over thought our current circumstances over, he now thinks that keeping you guys alive would be advantages to us. Advantages? Good? What? As I convinced him that we could, perhaps force you guys to join us. But today is not the day for that. You don't want your fate altered forever, then I highly recommend you quit messing with the greatest organization to ever exist, Team Rocket. Alright, this is your... Boss? I don't know. I actually don't know. Maybe it's a mini boss. Maybe it's a boss. Either way, it's a boss. <laughs> but yeah, uh, he sent out a go by level 37. This should be a little bit tougher than ever because they should be able to survive my attacks now. And I'm gonna be a bit scared. Yeah, they survived my. Oh, I swear to God, every freaking bad Pokemon has this move. <gasps> I'm gonna hit myself. First of all, it's gonna use a hyper potion. And I hear something in the background. But okay. Yeah, I did. Alright, so I just need to hit. <laughs> Let me hit. You're not. You're, you, just, you just don't like me right now. 
Element of Gust. Oh, it's like try attack. God, son of a gun. Oh, yeah. Okay, there we go. Flame for it, and please. Please. Not take it out, okay. And it's using Elemental Gust again, which is like try attack. But it does four now. Like, it does four kind of stuff. I, I don't. And it paralyzes. And knowing it, it's probably just gonna go and use Confuse Ray. Or not. Okay. I'm gonna go and heal after this. Um, if I don't move, or yeah, I move either way. But I'm gonna go and heal uh, my paralysis and my health because I am not gonna survive that no matter how I see it. Next is a Nino or no? I, I don't know. Uh, let's just switch out because Sand Splash should be able to take it out, no problems. So yeah. So yeah. So yeah. What the. F uh, let's just take it out with an Earthquake because it's a poison type Pokemon and we are ground type so it should be two times, three times, I, there's no such thing as a three times though, is there? Meh. Alright, there we go, one hit KO and next Pokemon is an Umbreon. Well, I'm gonna have fun. Umbreon is a dark type Pokemon, an evolution of the Evolutionary Family. Yeah, you just need to know this thing is really bulky. And really annoying and hard to kill. So good luck to you. And it did a freaking critical hit. Okay, I'm gonna go and heal. <laughs> uh, let's just do that. Alright, so we're gonna go and heal all this out. Uh, using pain attack again. I don't really care because the thing about Umbreon is really tanky, but its attack is horrible. So, you can get away with just stalling with this Pokemon as long as it doesn't have Toxic or has Confuse Ray. Please tell me you don't have Toxic. If you do, I'll hurry on, which I'm gonna question even though I'm like high level. Uh, it's hurting itself again. It's using Moon. I need a crit. Or, like, something really strong. Or to not continuously confuse itself. Come on. And... Come on. It's still confused after four turns, five turns, I think. It still hurt itself after that one turn of attacking. And it's still using faint attack. I cannot attack for the life of myself. It did a critical hit tw uh, twice in a row now. In this battle, I'm confused still. And I finally hit with an earthquake. Finally. You son of a gun. You son of a. <laughs> oh, wait. I can take it out. Come on. Yes! You're finally out! Oh my god. And there we go. Finally took out the most annoying team member, uh, party member for him. There's, uh, here comes a Kadabra. At level what? Level 39. This is second type Pokemon has three stages of evolution. It is faster than me. Oh freaking god. It took me out. If this was a Nuzlocke, I would have been screwed. Um, we're gonna go and switch, uh, oh, no, heal, because, well, why wouldn't I heal? Okay, th there we go. And you have Brain Freeze, which is a second type move, obviously. Hopefully, I can hit him with a Fire Fang. It's using Kines uh, Kinesis? Is that how you say it? I, I don't know. Uh, it's lowering my accuracy. I'm paralyzed. Wow. Please don't freeze me. I'm pretty sure this freezes me. I'm still paralyzed. What is this? I'm still using brain freeze. If I, like, get critted or something. Fire Fang. Oh my god, finally. And there we go. Because its defense is really horrible. And there we go. Almost lost. You never cease to amaze me. Alright, there we go. Well, well, well. Since you went through the trouble of finding our secret base, I think it's appropriate that you finally meet John, uh, G Giovanni. Yeah. 
Do you want to stop Team Rocket so badly? Then proceed forward. I will notify Giovanni that he has a visitor. <laughs> First off, we're gonna go and heal because I don't want to die. Yay! Wait, did, did we even heal or no? No, of course not. Okay, let's go and heal because I'm gonna go and die if I don't. Uh, let's use... Where is it? I don't have one, do I? Son of a gun. That is cool. Um, do I have something to heal my thing? If I don't, I'm slightly screwed in a really horrible way. Um, I don't. Wow. <laughs> um, this is a situation I've never been in. Where's the revive? Okay, we're gonna use this revive on Sand Slash immediately because we need him to come back, of course. We're also gonna go and use a potion as well. Multiple, um, multiple um, potions because, well, we need it. And Sand Slash is probably gonna be the main party member? Pokemon-ish thing? Um, that's gonna be fighting for us because, well, in Charizard's current state? Yeah, not happening. So I'm just gonna continue um, healing with a potion and it should be good. There we go. They're both pretty equal right now in health gauges. So let's switch out to Sand Slash and let's proceed forward. It's too quiet. It's way too quiet. What's happening? Hi. So, I must say, I am impressed that you got this far. You and escaped the death escape the death aboard the SSN. I knew somehow that if I failed to alter your fate, then I must then it must mean that you and your friends were born for a reason. Indeed, I failed to dispose of you and your friends, which only means that you and your friends have a potential for power unmatched by any other Pokemon trainer that I've ever seen. Are you wondering who I am? I am Giovanni, the leader of Team Rocket. Now, walk with me. Why am I walking with you? For many years, I trained Pokemon at the gym leader of Verdian City. I chose to resign that position in order to set off my master plan. Thirteen years ago, a powerful legendary Pokemon was unleashed into this world. At that time, I had no idea how it appeared or it even existed. The legendary Pokemon set off to cause great destruction in its anger, and it took many lives in the process. My wife was one of the, the victims. Ever since she died, I feel as if there is this monster that is taking over my soul, and now my soul is thirsty for revenge. After I found out who was responsible for unleashing the legendary Pokemon, I decided that they shall be punished. It is f uh, their fault that my wife died, and only son, my only son had to grow up without a mother. It started a simple desire to make them, ex make them experience the same pain that I felt. But as time passed, I realized that no one can understand the grief I experienced. I want everyone to experience my pain. Only then I will be satisfied. Enough of my past. Feast your eyes on what you see above! This is the Devil's Prism. The, uh, the, pur the purpose of its creation is to fulfill my de uh, desire for revenge. It's being engineered sp specifically to control this legendary Pokemon. My scientist has been doing an excellent job. But their work costs a large amount of money. That is why the missions I assigned to my organization all have the same goal. To make money. All of my money goes into the research required to build the De uh, Devil's Prism. With the Devil's Prism, I'll be, able, I'll be able to control the energy of any life force. And use the energy however I please. In order to fully execu execute my revenge, a Pokemon with a very... Up but then life force is needed. I hate talking so much. That is why I'm seeking the legendary Pokemon. Too much talking. Now, step away from the Devil's Prism. I tr don't trust you near it. I believe that anyone who opposes the greater good shall be punished. For your insolence, you will feel a world of pain. Finally, the boss of this area. Oh my god. Alright, this is Giovanni. Yeah, apparently he came back from nowhere. He sent out a Murkrow level 39. Yeah, they all have a freaking Murkrow. Let's just take it out with a Rock Slide and it's using Wing Attack. And thank god it did not miss. Oh, that would have been bad if it did. Okay, there we go. 
Mirko is down. Here comes the next Pokemon. He has a Nidor and a uh, Nidor and na 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 na. Uh, at level 39, it's a poison and ground type Pokemon like always. So let's just take it out with an earthquake. And there we go. Next Pokemon, please, Giovanni. You shall be taken down. Come on, next Pokemon. Come on, Rhyhorn. It's a rock and ground type Pokemon. Is it the one I'm thinking of? Rhyhorn, yeah. As a rock and ground type Pokemon, has two stages of evolution. That being a Rhydon, how do you evolve is by leveling up, and that is about it. It has pretty decent defense, so if you have a water type that has like water pulse or something special, like a special move or grass type, then you should be set. Next Pokemon is, and his last is a Kangaskhan, a normal type Pokemon. Has no evolution whatsoever, has no mega evolution in this generation. So we all we only have to worry about its only form and take it out from there. It's a using fake out. And there goes my grant. Uh you ruined everything, Kangas Khan. Why you do this to me? But we're just gonna take it out, hopefully. Oh my god, it didn't take it out. And please don't get Thank God. Because I've been dealing with so much um confusion at this point. It's starting to be annoying. Let's just go and use Iron Wheel, and please do a little bit of damage. Yes, okay, that does it quite a bit. Now the Dizzy Punch does a lot. I'm gonna go and heal <laughs> because I'm gonna like die. Uh, where's my Hyper Potion? I know I had one. Oh, I should have equipped it that Bright Powder that I got way back in, in the wild. Oh, here's a Hyper Potion, and let's heal slowly. Hurry up. Thank you. All right. Dizzy Punch, hopefully you don't cause confusion on me. Thank God. Let's go on Iron Wheel. And it should not take it out. Maybe it will. Maybe. Yes, it does. All right. There we go. And he is finished. Low 48 for Sand Splash. I see that you raise Pokemon with utmost care. A mere child like you would never understand what I hope to achieve. Once the Devil's Prism is completed, I alone shall rid Kanto of all the filth that has corrupted this region. I apologize for attempting to dispose of you and your friends on the SSN. If you and your friends had died on the SSN, none of you would live to see me succeed. I want you to feel the pain that I have in my life. That is why I won't kill you today. I want you to keep I want to keep you alive and you shall experience the grief that has been haunting me for the past 13 years. I want revenge on all the citizens of the Kanto region. You're the ones who created the monster that took my wife's life. You certainly overstayed your welcome. Ariana, please escort me, escort me uh, to the game corner immediately. Don't hurt him. Alright boss, Super Grant shouldn't be here anyways. And that is it. Yeah, there's nothing else. <laughs> that was interesting. Too much talking for me though. Ugh. Anyways, I'm gonna end it off here because that was our objective for this video. If you like uh, this video, make sure to uh, subscribe for more daily videos. Hit the like button down below. Make sure to favorite it as well because it does the same thing as liking, to, which also promotes my video out there. And I will see you guys next time for episode 11. Goodbye, everyone.